hello everyone welcome back to my channel this is Regina and this beautiful gorgeous set that uh, you see on the screen I will be working on that today so if you want to see it you know what you got to do you got to stick around so these are the products I'll be using today I'm going to be using liquid monomer my nail dehydrator this is for taking the oils out of the nail primer this is an acidless primer i'm also going to be using this pink pink powder from the mia secret and also this little dabbing dish and i'm going to be using my alpha number no. eight kalinsky usa brush first step dehydrate Next step, prime. Next, you get your monomer and your powder ready for application of this acrylic. Now, let's get started. First thing you want to do is burp your brush, dip into the powder, hold for a few seconds, and then start at the begin, the middle of the nail. <laughs> pat, pat, pull. That's, the, that's all I'm gonna be doing here, pat, pat, pull. And I'll be back. For your next bead, you want to put it in place and just pull, 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 pull. And always remember to clean your brush. Always keep clean your brush so you don't taint your mouth. Check your nail from all sides. Make sure that you have enough powder. If it's not, then you want to add wherever you see that it has like a lump, bump, anything like that. And always clean your cuticle area. You don't want any fluids running back into the cuticle area because this will cause your nails to lift. Now on to filing. I'm using a 100-100 grit file and I'm going to be straightening my nail from side to side, side to side. Make sure you do the same amount of filing on each side so that your nail don't, you know, lose its shape. You want to go around the perimeter in a horseshoe pattern and this will make the cuticle area look really nice. And then you're going to want to go side to side, just anywhere that you see that you need to take another look at and make sure your edges are nice and flat. If you need details about this buffer, comment in the comment section below and I will give you the details. So moving on to my nail polishes, this one is Ruby Pumps and it's in the number 182 and I love the color of this, it has little sparkly things in it and this one is Counting Carrots and it's in the number 1422 and it is a beautiful gold color. Um, I don't know, my camera don't give the colors on here justice. And Another thing, I'm not too good at polishing nails. I'm, I need to practice more because I use so many color acrylics that I forget about nail polishes. I am so guilty of that. I barely polish nails. I always use top coat, you know, a gel top coat and that's it because the color acrylic. But not everyone likes color acrylic so I need to do more nail polishing. That's what I'm doing. So but this color is so beautiful and pigmented um, if I had done a better job on it <laughs> but I'm terrible I'm telling you you're gonna see in a moment how bad your girl is at polishing look at that I messed up my beautiful nice white towel Urgh! but you know I'll get there I'm gonna keep on practicing I'm gonna keep on practicing you never are too old to learn anything so 
I'm going to keep on practicing and I think, oh my gosh, look at the shapes. I looked at some of my older videos and now that I did this again, because I worked on this hand before and the nails are so much more narrow. I will link that video in the, um, the cards for you. You can check that out. Now that the nails are completely dry, I'm coming in with my Valentino No Wipe Gel Top Coat and I'm going to be putting them in my UV lamp for 60 seconds. Now that they're out for the light, you let them cool, you add your cuticle oil and that's it, your service is over. I hope you liked my video today. If you did, don't forget to comment, share and subscribe and please follow me on all my other social medias. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.